trying to decide which surf leash to buy? Here's everything you need to know. Hi guys, Chris from Stover Travel here, or welcome back to the channel. Now before I get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any video goodness. Now today we're going to be talking through one of the most overlooked pieces of surf equipment, the humble surf leash. And more importantly, which surf leash to choose. I'm going to talk you through all the variables like cord length, cuffs, swivels and more. And of course the personal recommendations for my own surfboard quiver. Uh, this video forms part of my how to surf guide uh, where we talk through all the fundamentals and basics of surfing uh, from how to wax your board and how to put fins in right through to which surfboard to choose. Uh, so if you're new to surfing make sure you check out the rest of my YouTube channel for heaps of guides and advice. Uh, but for now let's jump into which surf leash is best for you. So the first thing you'll want to take into consideration when choosing which surf leash to buy is the length of the leash and also the length of your board. Uh, surfboard leashes come in one foot increments from six foot right through to nine foot and you genuinely want to match it up to the size of your board. Uh, so if you've got a six foot board you want to go for a six foot leash, if you've got a nine foot board you want a nine foot leash and so on. Um, if you've got kind of mid-range sizes so like a 6.6 six or a 6.8 uh, it's kind of down to personal preference whether you round up or down. For me personally if it's under that kind of halfway mark I'll go down, over that I'll go up. So if I've got a 6 foot 6 board I'll go for a 6 foot uh, leash. If I've got a 6 foot 8 board I'll generally round it up to a 7 foot leash. Um, 6 foot generally is the smallest leash size that most surf shops will carry. Um, so if you've got some groms out there with kind of some smaller boards um, you might be able to pick up some specialist ones online but generally speaking six foot is the smallest way to go. So the other thing to keep in mind when choosing which surf leash is best for you is the thickness of the leash and by thickness I mean the cord itself. Uh, now surf leashes come from five mil right through to seven mil in thickness. Um, the lighter leashes so kind of the five mil obviously lighter and more comfortable but they do offer less strength. Um, but if you are surfing kind of a lighter, kind of lower volume shortboard, that kind of doesn't make a huge amount of difference. Uh, the thicker kind of 7 mil leashes on the other hand are great for kind of heavier, higher volume boards. So if you've got a big 8 foot foam as your first surfboard, a thicker leash is a good way to go. Or as you progress, if you're surfing heavier, more powerful waves, having that extra thickness does give you a lot more strength. Uh, now for the average average surfer, the six millimeter leashes, uh, also known as comp leashes, are usually a great balance of kind of strength and also comfort. Uh, so they're usually the way to go. Again, it comes down to personal preference. Uh, for my short boards, I'll use kind of a thinner leash because they're lighter in volume. But for my long boards or my mid lengths, I will use a thicker cord for that extra bit of strength. But yeah, that's what you need to know when it comes to thickness. Now the other thing to keep in mind is the quality of the cuff. Uh, now the cuff is the bit that fits around your ankle. So obviously it's quite important as it's in contact with you throughout your surf. And uh, now this is the main differentiation point uh, for most brands and kind of more higher end brands have more kind of quality cuffs that are a lot more comfortable to wear. Whereas kind of like the cheaper brands tend to be kind of cheaper materials and not as comfortable to wear. And uh, now the best advice I can give you is just go into your local surf shop, try them on and figure out which works for you. Uh, for me, the Creatures of Leisure Super Light Pro is a super comfortable leash and my go-to for most of my shortboards. Uh, but for some of my friends, they prefer like the FK ones or the FCS ones. Uh, so it's really down to personal preference. Try a few on and see which one fits you best. Now on the topic of the cuff of the leash, um, if you are a longboarder, so you're grabbing a nine foot longboard leash, you do also have the option of either an ankle leash or a knee leash. Uh, now the knee leashes are also known as calf leashes and they sit above your calf muscle so just below your knee. Uh, whereas the ankle leashes are the same as shortboard ones and they go around your ankle. Uh, now the main difference to this is kind of personal preference really which you find more comfortable. Uh, for me I prefer the calf leashes on my longboards because it keeps the leash out of the way especially when I'm board walking running to the nose and it's generally more comfortable overall. Uh, the other reason I like the calf leash is because it spreads the weight of the board a lot better when I wipe out. Um, so obviously take into account the weight of your longboard is quite heavy so if you bail off and you know you're getting dragged around there's a lot of pressure to put on your ankle whereas obviously your calf slash leg is definitely more stronger than your ankle and therefore spreads that kind of weight distribution a bit better. Uh, so me personally it's a knee leash but it's totally down to you. 
Now the final thing to keep in mind when choosing which surf leash is best for you is also something that's often overlooked by a lot of people and that's swivels. Uh, now all leashes come with single swivels, uh, usually on the board end of the attachment of the leash. Um, and this is basically designed to keep the leash tangle free when you're sitting on the board, paddling, or of course surfing. Um, so yeah, they're just there. Keep them nice and clean after each surf by giving them a rinse through as well and they'll last longer. Um, now cheaper ones have a single swivel whereas more premium leashes tend to be double swiveled. So they've also got one on the ankle attachment as well. Uh, this obviously means they're way less prone to tangling whilst you're sitting on your board. Uh, honestly, there's not a huge jump in price from a single swivel leash to a double swivel leash. Uh, so I'd always pay the extra and get a double swivel, but it's totally down to you. Okay, now, so crunch time. Which surf leashes do I personally use on my quiver of surfboards? Well, when it comes to shortboards, my go-to is the Creatures of Leisure Superlight Pro. I just find it really comfortable to, uh, to wear. It's really tangle-free, and I really like the material it's made of. It's just super comfortable to surf on. Um, the other Creatures of Leisure leash I do use is the Reliance. Um, I use that on my kind of mid-length board, so my Seaside and Beyond and my Cape Collective Midway. And um, they're just a little bit thicker and I find them really comfortable for my mid-length or higher volume boards. Uh, the other leash I also recommend as well is the Simple Releashed. Uh, they're again really comfortable and go the distance. Uh, when it comes to my long boards, I have a Tools Knee uh, long board leash, uh, so a nine foot one. It's a little bit thicker, a seven mil cord, but I find that cuff really comfortable, stays in position at the top of my calf, um, so it's really comfortable to surf in overall. But yeah, those kind of leashes are the ones I personally recommend. And there you have it guys, that's everything you need to know when choosing which surf leash to buy. Uh, if you have any other questions about which leash to buy, other surf equipment, or choosing your first surfboard, make sure you check out the links in the description below to all my blog guides. Of course, check out the rest of my YouTube channel for heaps of tips and advice. That's it for this week guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week. Ciao.